Well, good morning. It's good to be with you again on this last week of being in my 40s. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to tell everybody I'm just 49.95 plus tax. <laughs> so it's good to be with you. I trust you had a good week in the Lord. Good to see Sister Kim back. You know, we take medical procedures nowadays for granted that everything's just going to go go as planned but I had to go recently and help some family extract data off of a computer for a man that went in for a routine what they thought was a routine medical procedure but didn't come home yeah. so thank the Lord for that thank the Lord for his mercy and his, his grace to us yeah. talking about getting yes he is talking about getting old and uh Realizing your mortality. We're going to look at that this morning with this man here in 2 Samuel chapter 19. We're going to start here in verse, verse 31. We're going to talk about Barzilla. Y'all remember what he did? Back over in chapter 17, when David was fleeing from Absalom, he met them at Mahanaim. That's a familiar place because that's where Jacob saw the angels of the Lord. In fact, Mahanaim means uh, angels of the Lord of hosts. David needed an angel that night, didn't he? And he got one here, Barzillai. Let's start in verse 31. And Barzillai the Gileadite came down from Rogalim and went over Jordan with the king to conduct him over Jordan. Now Barzillai was a very aged man, even fourscore years old, and he had provided the king a sustenance while he lay at Mahanaim, for he was a very great man. And the king said unto Barzillai, Come thou over with me, and I will feed thee with me in Jerusalem. And Barzillai said unto the king, How long have I to live, that I should go up with the king unto Jerusalem? I am this day fourscore years old. He's eighty years old. And can I discern between good and evil? Can thy servant taste what I eat or what I drink? Can I hear any more the voice of singing men and singing women? Wherefore then should thy servant be yet a burden unto my lord the king? Thy servant will go a little way over Jordan with the king. And why should the king recompense it me with such a reward? Let thy servant, I pray thee, turn back, that I may die in mine own city and be buried by the grave of my father and of my mother. But behold, thy servant Chinham, let him go over with my lord the king, and do to him what shall seem good unto thee. And the king answered, Chinham shall go over with me, and I will do to him that which shall seem good unto thee. And whatsoever thou shalt require of me, that will I do for thee. So I want to talk this morning about this man, Barzillai. 80 years old. 80 years old. Marzilla means made of iron. I hope at 80 years old, I've still got that zeal for my king. 80 years old here. Listen, he did not live next to Jordan. It says he traveled from Rogalim. Loaded up took his substance down and met the king when he was fleeing from Absalom. That was not the hip thing to do at that time. Listen, Absalom was new. He had stole the hearts of the people. That was the hip thing, is to go with Absalom. Not to, not to serve David. Does that sound familiar nowadays? And again, I want to remind you, we're not talking about a foreign land here. We're not talking about Philistines. We're talking about Israelites inside of the church, if you will, nowadays. 
Barzillai stuck with his king. Eighty years old. Didn't make any excuses. Didn't send his people. He himself went down and visited the king. And I thought, 80 years old. Here I am approaching 5-0, and I think it's a great pain to have to crawl out of bed and do a devotion. Where's my zeal at? Where's my zeal? Where's my love? Listen, he loved David. He comes back and wants to welcome him back in, and he says, I'm not wanting anything. We're here just to welcome you back home. I want to see you safely conducted back in. David says, "Let's go to Jer uh, come on with me to Jerusalem, and I'll take care of you." He's like, no. See, even here you can see how selfless and humble. And there's no selfishness in him. Listen, those people would have died for this. Jump to this opportunity. He realizes his mortality. I, my father-in-law, Mr. Danny. He's 75 in him, Melissa. 70 what? 70. I oh, see. I had to be corrected there. 77. But on Sunday morning, he will run over you to get to the church house. <laughs> My dad's the same way. My dad's fixing to be 74. They won't miss it. We need some more Barzillas. Why did he do this? And what was his what was his request for all of this? That his children be able to go on with the king. Where, do we want these children to go on with the king? Are we willing to set this kind of example and not make excuses? Well, my age got in the way. 80 years old. 80. And still has a zeal that has just eat him up. But he'll risk life, limb, and property. Listen, if Absalom and the, if what if David hadn't have won? What do you think would have happened to this guy? Do you think, listen, people are people. Do you not think that he had thought about that? That what if Absalom won? It didn't matter. He was presenting his body a living sacrifice. See, I'm standing here this morning because somebody presented their body. A living sacrifice. Yeah. I think, you know, I was talking about Mr. Danny and, and I've seen the way he lived. And my dad, you know, we were his hobby. And it was all about getting us to Jesus. I look back now. That's what his whole life was about. I never, my dad never spent weeks in the woods hunting. He would take us fishing. But he was always about us. And I think a lot of times the greatest way my daddy showed his love for me was by saying no. By saying no. You know, a lot of times we pray for foolish things and our Father says no. Hallelujah. I realize at my age now what a blessed man I am. That I had a Barzilla that's now, he's getting old and feeble. <laughs> but he wants me to go on with the king. It is. I thank God for it. Sorry. We've got these children sitting here this morning. I want Sissy to go on with the king. I want Jackson to go on with the king. I want Ben, Keely, Keaton. I want us to all go on with the king. Why? Because somebody made a great sacrifice for us. What did Matt Jesus say in Matthew 20? Let's turn over here, Matthew 25. I wasn't going here, but here we are. David charged Solomon, too. He told him, he said, Show kindness unto the sons of Barzillai the Gileadite, and let them be of those that eat at thy table. For they came to me when I fled because of Absalom, thy brother. That was in 1 Kings chapter 2 and verse 7 here. Verse 34 here of chapter 25. Then shall the king say unto them that is on my right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you 
from the foundation of the world. For I was hungered, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. What did Barzilla do? What did Barzilla do? Uh, do we look for opportunities to convert our words into actions? Or do we take the opportunity when it, we have a chance to convert our words into actions? I pray that we are not just words. I pray this morning that we are like Brazilla. That we want our children to go on with the king and it's not about us. I thank you all this morning for the opportunity to stand and share this with you. I hope I've challenged you. Listen, I know I'm a blessed man. I've, Lord's given me all these years on earth and I haven't always been faithful to this like I should have been. It's never going to be enough. But I'm sure going to try. I'm sure going to try. I love y'all. Thank you. May the Lord bless you.